This is getting way out of hand and needs to stop. Celtics fans the last couple days have been debating, should we keep Lonnie Walker? Should we keep Jaden Springer? Who is going to be the best fit for this team? And ultimately, that debate needs to end. As Brad Stevens, Joe Mazzulla already know what they want to do with this roster. And with adding Lonnie Walker, it's not more of a mere fit issue. It's more of a more of a luxury tax issue. So we're going to be diving in and we're going to be looking at what this discourse is and why fans need to take a little bit of relaxing chill pill on this situation. Welcome back to Celtics Digest. I'm Bruce Velez. You guys have been absolutely fantastic showing your love and support over on the channel for Godfrey and I. We're really, really appreciative of it all. Without further ado, we want to get into the news. We want to break this all down. So let's get into it. And like I said in the introduction, this needs to stop. And this is just absolutely crazy and bonkers that we're having these discussions. I know it's the end of the preseason. I know the Celtics haven't done much this offseason. But these types of discussions just need to end. And unfortunately, they're just brewing over on Twitter. And it's been getting ridiculous. As we've all seen through the preseason, we've seen players like Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum not really be prioritized as much in looking at some of these younger guys to figure out who's going to fill in these roles. And young players like Jordan Walsh and Jaden Spr uh, Jaden Springer and Lonnie Walker have really showcased their skill sets, while some players like Baylor Shireman haven't looked the greatest. But the discussion of Springer of Lonnie Walker has really perked a lot of Celtics fans' ears because they feel that Lonnie Walker is deserving of enough player to be on this team. They feel like he deserves that roster spot, and not a lot of fans are truly brought into Jaden Springer. So it's ultimately arose this discussion and kind of debate here, courtesy of the Celtics lead on Twitter, where it says, who should be prioritized? Should it be Lonnie Walker? Should it be Jaden Springer? If you are the Celtics, who needs to make to have a roster spot? And I love some player people that contribute for Celtics lead. Shout out to Owen over on Twitter, reacting to my stuff and always being a nice, kind soul. But stuff like this is why this course is a little bit wonky and a little bit weird here. As Adam Taylor says, this is not a roster decision that needs to be made, as Springer is already on a guaranteed contract until the end of the season. This isn't a two. This isn't two K. You just don't hit find a trade and make him go away. There also is an open roster spot for somebody. And as we look at this roster, we can see that Springer is making $4 million already for this team. So even if the Celtics were to look off to move off Springer to give him that role for Lonnie Walker, there'd still be an issue as they'd still have to move off his contract. And still, why are you trading a player in Jaden Springer just to bring up an Exhibit 10 guy in Lonnie Walker who looks good? That doesn't really make that sense to me. Why are you just throwing away Jaden Springer for nothing when you clearly invested into him last season picking up the trade deadline? I don't know. Lonnie Walker also is an on exhibit 10 deal, which means Lonnie Walker could go to Maine, could have to do with that, and could still be brought up. Let's not also forget that the Celtics, like Adam Taylor just said, still have that open roster spot. The Celtics could go out, they still could pick up Lonnie Walker and have him play alongside on this team with Jaden Springer and have 15 full guys under roster. Ultimately, whatever the Celtics seem to do, I don't know, but I think Adam Taylor kind of has the right man to hear. Shout out to a good friend over on Twitter for providing some great work and some great details, because I agree with you, man. There's still an open roster spot. This isn't 2K. We can't be doing stuff like this. And his boy Cody as well kind of gave some insight as well. Cody Shelfo saying that he thinks too many Celtics fans just got completely misread the Lonnie Walker situation. He's a very good basketball player and wild that we were able to un and wild that we were able to get him. But there's a 95% chance that he gets waived and spent is sent to Maine, no matter what he does. That was always the plan. And replying back to NBA Reacts, saying gets brought in halfway through the season if we need him to fill out that last spot, that's my guess. And hundred percent. Brad likes to use that 15 round spot and keep it open anyways. Reinforcements in case of injury, someone underperforms. He never gets a guaranteed contract for anyone else. Might as well latch onto the best team in the league and see what happens. And I agree with Cody. I agree with Adam Taylor, and that's ultimately what I kind of foreseeing for Lonnie Walker in this situation with the Boston Celtics here. We'll dive into a little bit more as well, but ultimately, when it ultimately happens to Lonnie Walker, and yes, you just got to deal with it, I ultimately think that he's just going to be in Maine. Like we've seen with this Celtics squad already, they do have that open roster spot. They could give it to him, but a player like Jaden Springer already presents a similar role, and Jaden Springer's already under contract. So how I view this situation is you don't give up Jaden Springer, you don't throw him away for nothing, you keep him on this roster, and you keep developing, and you keep playing him. You bring him onto this team, you have him throw into some lineups, and you use him in some minor minutes. Like we said, Jaden Springer, once again, isn't this major x factor this major focal point for this team he's going to be coming off the bench as a secondary reserve if we want to look more into adam taylor this article here shout out to him if you want to get some more reading done on lonnie walker go check this out but he put here that obviously for being honest locker will be the 10th guy in the rotation and let's map that out with holiday white brown tatum porzingis horford pritchard hauser cornet 
players like Keita and Tillman fighting for those backup big minutes as well alongside Luke Cornett, it is difficult to find rotation and to crack this team. And even if a player like Lonnie Walker were to get that jump, were to get it over Jaden Springer, he still has an uphill battle battling against guys that are truthful NBA players. And even though Lonnie Walker proved that last season, and I know him on this Exhibit 10 day is a steal of a contract. He is not valued at Exhibit 10. He should be getting $5, 6000000 million. I hear you, Celtics fans. I hear you over the mic. But trust me. When a player like this doesn't have that many offers, doesn't have a lot of people looking at him, yes, he looked good in the preseason. He could get himself another contract. But as we've seen with the new CBA, as we've seen with these other teams, it's hard to get those contracts. And even if he is going to get a deal, it's going to be a veteran minimum contract anyways that he'll be gifted with the Celtics. So why not just stay with this Celtics team and just wait? Like Cody was saying, why not just wait? 100%. Keep that roster spot open. Use it in case of injury. Use it in case if a guy doesn't fit. Use it in case you need that extra oomph off the bench if a player's hurt or if a player's sitting out in a back-to-back. -back, you have that extra body. And who knows? We could see a player like Jaden Springer insert himself to this team and not look that great. But then Lonnie Walker gets called up, plays a couple games, and dominates. Then Lonnie Walker gets that rotation. It all can honestly happen. I just don't want to see this hate and disruption right now. It's absolutely too early and too ridiculous to be discussing all of this. Also, let's not forget to the fact that if the Celtics do add Lonnie Walker, it's not more of, oh, is he going to compete with Springer? Is that the issue? It's not. It's this. And this is courtesy of Keith Smith, who's been doing a fantastic job nailing it. But right now, the Celtics are at a 3.7 tax multiplier for every $1 spent. So keeping Lonnie Walker would nudge them up to the next tax bracket and put them at a 4.25 tax multiplier for every dollar spent. For Lonnie Walker, who should be on the vet minimum of about $2.1 million, that would be an additional tax hit of a nearly $8.8 .8 million. So in total, to keep Walker, it would cost the Celtics nearly $11 million in total. When people talk about J.D. Davidson trying to trade two ways, they count as zero as a two-way player. So there's nothing saved as far as taxes goes. People were saying, move Drew Peterson, move J.D. Davidson, bring in Lonnie Walker, make him a two-way, yada, yada, yada. Then you can convert him to a regularized contract. When you move these two ways, that doesn't affect anything. And like we just pointed out, this $11 million tax hit that the Celtics would have to pay with bringing in Lonnie Walker is the main caveat on why they are not doing it immediately. Trust me, Lonnie Walker is an NBA-ready player. He's already proven that through the preseason, looking with these guys in TD. Trust me, a lot of the other NBA teams around the league know this. They just don't have the money and don't have this roster spot to be able to offer him that contract. And unfortunately for Lonnie Walker, that's the position that he's in. It's just the un fortunate circumstance of the year that he's going in for a contract there weren't a lot of teams that had NBA money and it was and they, they were going through new cba restrictions with new rules if this was any other free agency if this were two three seasons previous lonnie walker would have been guaranteed four or five million dollars at least it would be getting a role on a team but unfortunately for lonnie walker that's just how the cookie crumbles and He's going to have to work for Maine. He's going to have to strive for that. And that's what's going to be his goal. And he's already said for Boston that he doesn't mind going to Maine. He doesn't mind working down there. He doesn't mind working out for the grind. He knows a Celtics championship caliber team. He knows what they instill in winning. And he wants to be a part of that product and part of that franchise. Who knows? If there's some injuries, if some players don't look the greatest in the regular season, there could be moves and Lonnie Walker could be brought up to this roster. But at the foreseeable future, as of right now, I do not see it happening happening at this moment he could possibly get that 15th roster spot but do not be discussing is he going to get be more playing time over Jaden Springer is he going to be seeing the day of light over Jaden Springer are we moving Jaden Springer are we trading Jaden Springer is Jaden Springer being shipped off no 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 Sam Cassell let Jaden Springer from Philadelphia coaching with Doc Rivers and he was brought onto this team for a reason and has showed those implications I know Sam LaFrance is big on this as well Jaden Springer will not be traded. He will be with this team, and this Celtic score is going to stay intact. I kind of know. I've been, you know, maybe looking at this Jaden Springer trade possibility, but as more discussion, as more uh, reasoning has come through, I've kind of understand. Keep Lonnie Walker, have him in case of injuries, put him on main, let him play in the G League, just let him grow. If another team takes him, another team snipes him, so well, go be it. He wasn't going to crack the rotation, like we said. He has an uphill battle battling against some of these guys already in the Celtics rotation. As long as he has a successful NBA career, I think all Celtics fans will be happy. Like we said, if we lose him for nothing, it is A-OK. -okay. He still deserves that opportunity, and I'll be happy for him. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. How do you guys feel? I just think that this dialogue needs to stop on the Jaden Springer 
and Lonnie Walker discussion. Just let both of them play. Let both of them flourish. They can both do it, and it will be successful for the Boston Celtics. Brad Stevens and Joe Mazzulla know what they do. What know what they're doing, ladies and gentlemen. They did it last season and brought a championship. Just please trust in them. Without further ado, though, you guys have been absolutely fantastic. I really do appreciate all the support you guys have been giving us over on the channel. It's been fantastic, and we can't wait to cook it up for you. Like we said, season starts on Tuesday. Celtics got their final preseason game tonight. Unfortunately, we were going to be live, but we had some complications come up. We are not going to be live tonight, but we will be live next Tuesday on the season opener for all you guys making sure to get you covered on the ring ceremony, stuff like that. Should be fun, should be exciting, and I am pumped up. So once again, I'm Bruce Velez. Thank you guys so much for showing your support over on the channel today. Check it in today's video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button as we try to push for 6,000 subscribers. Share to Celtics fans if you know that they enjoy. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a great rest of your day, and go Boston Celtics.